What is going on guys? My name is Doc Rider. Welcome to episode 2 of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode, uh, we did all of this stuff. Like, we, 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 we talked about the game for a little bit. We, uh, we did the opening. We got pushed off of a ledge a few times. Um, we had to deal with a pompous, pompous ass with the pompadour. You know, fun stuff. In this episode, uh, oh, and, oh, and Zelda was taken. Can't forget about the key point. Zelda was taken. Again. In this episode, <clears throat> we heard a voice. Well, we also, at the end of the last episode, we heard a voice. And now we're going to follow it. Oh, look at oh, that. a little loopy. Big thanks to Chroma9 for the intro track to the stream. Um, we're going to do a quick save before we uh, go up to the statue. Okay, hold on. There we go. So one thing is we can't go through to the get to the to the to the statue this way because they close it off. So we have to take an alternate route, which uh, just so happens to exist. How convenient! Hey, look! It's Lemur Kitty. Problem is at night. Don't tell me. Blarg! I knew it. Come down here for a chest. I should probably stand up because I'm... You have to solid snake it. 20 rupees can buy you many peanuts! Couldn't have fixed your mic before you just scream that. Why? What's wrong with my mic? Nothing. I could just tell you were standing up in the middle of it because you sounded far away when you did it. Oh, sorry. Oh, whoop, whoop. oh okay. I guess I gotta. Uh, 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 there we go. Leap, 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 leap. Run up the hill. Let Ferd come to me. You know, floating blue could help just a little with all this. You know, get through this whole thing a little faster. Statue of the Goddess. Yeah, they just run. You can't defeat the cats. They they just run. What? What? You mean to tell me that there was a whole fucking... Oh, we're on the back side of the, the statue. I did not even realize. Didn't you literally just say, now we're on the back side of the statue? Yeah, she's facing away, though. This, no, wait, this is the... What? Huh. 
We're on the back side of the statue now. What about it? No, we're still on the front. It's just the angle is... We're kind of low. I think, I think because we're really too low, we can't see the top of the statue. But we are inside the statue of the goddess. What's that? That looks like a sword in a pedestal. Okay, what do you got to say that might help me? Okay, yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> or should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Uh, runs forward immediately. Dear God. Draw the sword and raise it skyward. Thank God my roof is high enough. For all credits. That looks so clunky. You got the goddess sword! This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, master. Lonk. God. Oh yeah, by the way, Orion's choice was to name it Lonk. the sword. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from, wake from its long slumber. I wonder what that is. Translated, we're fricked. Yeah. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. Okay, yep, self-fulfilling prophecy. Good on ya. It started days ago, the swords I've kept secret of all these years began to give up a fate of the worldly light. First, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword, yet there was, there was, no, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamt the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. And it will continue to come to pass in every lifetime. Or at least any lifetime with a long link in it. Mm -hmm. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> Fly's essentially saying, word of mouth is, is useless. There's that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. That's the reason why word of mouth is crap. Now begins one of Fi's biggest things. You who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. And it is he, it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of Apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. And his destiny after he dies. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. And yet we only experience three regions of the surface. Oh, look, a MacGuffin! How convenient, eh, Orion? She had the one... Uh, she had the one MacGuffin we needed to get to the surface. <coughs> you got the Emerald Tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Hit the crest with a skyward strike. So this is kind of the predecessor to when you have the Master Sword at full health and you do the energy slash or any, like any form of energy attack with it. This is kind of the predecessor. Oh boy. Ah, it's okay. It's not that hard. Oh, I thought it I thought it charged. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm not close enough. Okay. Done. Till now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess had separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I recognized you as my master, so it's my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Another thing that's different from this version and the Wii version, she does not come out when, when like, she doesn't interrupt you. You can ignore her for the rest of the game. Well, you can ignore her advice for the rest of the game. Listen a moment. <laughs> Listen a moment. Uh, nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. 
But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. You have no idea. What if this Fi says, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda's alive, alive, and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face long, especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here is today defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. Okay. When do I get my clothes? I love how your top priority is. Give me clothing. Great journey before you and these those <laughs> I had to open my mouth. They should be ready by now. Sturdy uniform like that will provide much more suitable will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. It's green. Not green enough for you. It's not supposed to be green. The green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I have my doubts about the color. <laughs> Imagine if 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 this was the beginning of the timeline and every game after had had this this color was changed. It would have been like that for the whole series. Okay, which color do we use for this one? <laughs> yeah. Seeing you wear the uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you is as if you were born to wear it. Hmm. Care on your journey, be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient text. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. Yeah, cool. As or as you could just take Link with you and freaking compare the text to what Fi would have to say about it. You know, that would make more sense. Seeing as how she seems to know freaking everything! <laughs> Green uniform, uh, night. Headmaster said you were heading out to look for Zelda. Yep, 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 yep. Uh... The adventure pouch! You can store all signs of useful in this handy piece of gear. So, uh, you know how I said, how you said, like, I need a shield? I still, I still don't have a shield. I couldn't I hold guess. a shield. You have I to buy one. That, and I need to have space in my adventure pouch to have one. For adventures, I... it's, it's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. Potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Potions you can see. A shield you cannot, right? Yeah, I'd imagine you'd be holding that shield, but okay, sure. Oh, just you wait. You're, you haven't seen anything yet. We're just getting started. Oh, you've got something for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, cool. Don't need to buy one. Maneuverable, weakest of all shield. It's vulnerable to fire. So, you know how in Breath of the Wild, weapons and shields and that have durability? So this really was just the beta. Pretty much, yeah. Except for the open world stuff. Honestly, that may partially explain why some people think Skyward Sword was just like, why doesn't this feel finished? Now we know. 
Because it was a beta. Also, I need to reset the gyro. There we go. So, so you you know how the the the, the right Joy-Con looked like a master, like it had the coloring of the Master Sword, and the right one was was blue with with like the Hylian crest on it. Kinda. I am shoving forward the right the the left Joy-Con right now. Does this have like the perfect deflect too? Uh, no. Like, you can deflect items back at, at enemies. Uh, I'll put it away. Uh, but not like launching a guardian's beam back at its face. No. Uh. Uh, update regarding the stone. Yeah. Yes, I know. I have a shield. So, obviously, you can see the green light. That's where we're supposed to go. Simple as that. But first, time to spend money. Well, I mean, you got all those rupees. You may as well do something with them. So the weird thing about the bazaar is you've got multiple different shops. You've got item storage because you're going to find a lot of items over the thing. You obviously got... Uh, the normal shop that holds like refills to consumables, shields. Um, Apparently, Deku nuts. Uh, you've got a fortune teller that kind of uh, kind of tells you if you if you don't know where you're supposed to be going. Uh, and then potions. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of different potions. Empty bottle. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to her. She'll give me an empty bottle. Bottle. So now we have an empty bottle. We can fill with a potion. So obviously, uh... I believe green are stamina potions. Oh. Red are health potions. Blue is, I think, shield restore potion. Mm. Uh, uh, let me check. Not oh. yet ready. I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I believe the blue potion is shield recovery. I forget what the other two do. And then the husband will allow you to infuse potions. Um, I'm going to grab a red potion. Actually, no. I'm going to grab a green potion. Oh. Uh, oh, I have to wait. Okay, I guess I can only buy... Actually, can I re see what the other ones do? Uh, revitalizing potions. Oh, yeah. Okay, so no. The purple one is... Um, fixes shield durability. And it restores four hearts. No, I don't want. Oh. Guardian. Oh, okay. So, defense potion. Yeah, no. Thank you. Can't even afford that. I'm just going to get a red potion. Dunk. Stores eight hearts. <laughs> so, okay, so you know how I showed off, like, this is the gear screen, and then you got the collection screen? So, the stuff on the, on the right is used for upgrading items and shields. What? What? <laughs> Weird. So the stuff on the right is for uh, upgrading items and shields. The All the bugs that you can see here are for potion upgrading. So, holy crap, it is like Breath of the Wild too. At least, 
kinda. That's what I said. This game is a beta. And then this is just key items that you can find along your adventure. So, yep. Alright, uh, we don't need anything there. We don't need to store anything. We don't need to... Upgrade... Ah, uh, can we upgrade the shield right now? Oh, yeah. we can, uh, well, I guess no. Upgrade gear. I want to see what I need for the shield. Uh, monster claw and amber relics. Yeah, you can also upgrade the shield so that they're better, they're stronger. Obviously, the only shield that can't do that is the Hylian shield. But that'll be a while before we get one of those. And then that chest back there doesn't matter for right now. So yeah, that's bizarre. Huh. Bizarre. <laughs> uh, there's also one other shop that uh, we can't access just yet. Because we don't have the uh, an item required for it. Plus, I don't think he's flying around just yet. Oh, nope, he is. You might want to get your uh, thank yous and buys ready, Orion. What? Guess who's flying in that uh, flying house right there? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah! Why is the footage being derpy? Alright, let's talk to this dude. Look up there, it's... It's Beetle's Air Shop. Oh no. <laughs> Bug nets. Uh, apparently I can't reach it yet, so no point in me worrying about it right now. But, let's head on our way. Burp. Alrighty. So, opening up the map, there's a lot we can explore, well, there's not a lot we can explore right now, um, there's a few things we can do. You can also rotate the map for some reason, to face the way you're, you're doing, but I find that's kind of weird. No, not necessarily, it could help those who... Just want to know, like, which direction from here am I supposed to end up going? Yeah. Uh, we're going to stop over here really quick. At this island right here. Before going to the, um, the surface. Oh, you son of a... I think I was supposed to charge. I want that 20 rupees. Thank you. So these rocks. Wow, that's loud. Can I turn it down again? I'm turning it down again. Tell me that isn't loud to you too, Orion. A bit, by comparison. Can you guys still hear the audio? You'd Not have to unpause it. We, we can't, it, it, remember, it gets faded in there. So these... Go zoom. Oh, no. What you Not wanna... this. What do you want? This is, this is the pumpkin soup thing. Actually, yes! Unfortunately, we're not doing that right now, though. However, I want that. I just realized I could have filled my bottle with pumpkin soup. Ah, well. Well, you are missing a heart. Oh, wait a minute. That was one of Groose's weirdos. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I kind of didn't. Oops. But it was worth it. Wanted the pizza heart. Hi! Cool! Not yet! Bye bye. Are you serious? I, I'll be. Oh, I actually have to say yes. I'll help. You don't have a choice. Yeah, no. Empty got an empty bottle. Cool, I can leave. No point in wasting a, a, a no point in wasting a perfectly good red potion. And let me guess, and you'll never come back here again. Oh, I'll, I will be coming back to help. It's just at this point, I have better things to do, like finally going to the surface. I'll tell you though, that's one of the first times in a Zelda game that I have ever seen ramifications for you just breaking things. All right, what do you guys say? I'll at least help you here. It was a column of light, marks a point. Yeah, 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 I know that. Alright, an episode and a half in, and we're finally reaching the surface. It's so green. Ryan, welcome to the Sacred Grounds. I was kind of hoping the cutscene would just have you go... <laughs> <laughs> I was actually tempted to let it let it uh, linger as long as I could, but then I... Delay. Uh, by my calculations, you're currently positioned in a location known as this... Oh, Sealed Grounds, not Sacred Grounds. My bad. This, uh, this place looks, looks ominous. Oh, God. Not this. Not this. Not this. <laughs> Please repeat, proceed with caution. And with that, because I know what's coming, it's time to reposition. Nice to know that the Deku Babas aren't going anywhere. Yes, but notice notice how their mouths are opening. I see it, I see it. Oh, no. 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 But 
That's how the shield is supposed to work, but I fucked it up. Uh, replenish some of your life at the earliest. Okay, thank you, Fi, for that words of wisdom. So much for not interrupting, huh? That was actually me. I pressed the down button. Kind of hard to swing the sword with when I'm trying not to hit the the mic. We'll try to have it as far away as possible, or for the next stream, uh, I'll swap to the headset mic. Thank God I don't have to fight the imprisoned in this first era, first section. Thank fucking God. I would have hated it if I had to fucking fight the imprisoned this first time. Oh. Fuck. That's why I shouldn't be doing that. Thank God I don't have access to hero mode yet. Really? God damn it. Why is it only that one bush that had a heart? Wow. Talk about unlucky. I'm heard from the sky. Oh good, I don't have to fight the imprisoned. I just gotta seal them away this time. Up. Up. Yeah, for some odd reason it was off. Up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm getting to it. This is my favorite thing to do. Oh, I don't get to do it. Like, I don't get to do the... Damn it. Fucking love that part is when he, when he swings the sword and sheaths it amazingly. Oh. Uh. Oh, good. She gives me access to dowsing now. Yes, yes, thank you for telling me. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target. Yes. So, you hold up and then you choose what you want to do. And you essentially have a dowsing rod. So it's saying that I think that's the uh, temple at the top. Ah, 
I will point out it is a lot more responsive when it's not out of sync. Alright, cool. We can go in here finally. Mm. Sealed temple. Apparently not very sealed if there's a Zelda in it. God damn it, Orion! Why did you have to call him Lonk? Like, I understand the meme, but, like... Because it wouldn't be half as funny if we didn't. Got it, sword. Build my purpose as your guide. And Zelda's, apparently. Place built by the yeah, any chance you could tell us where she's at? How did she get past the seal? Predestined many, many years ago. Spirit Man, you seek arrived here shortly before you descending to this land in a shower of light when she was swept up by a dark tornado. Ha! Huh. No doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which the two of you are a part. Lonk, you were considered for the spirit. You were concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts. Yes, that is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose. She must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Yep, I have to go there. Cool! Unfamiliar land. Many monsters have sailed there, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. So I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to place a beacon. So. I love how that I love how that freaking works. Like fr like freaking Zelda. Don't worry about her. You need to go do your own thing. She went to the Farron Woods. Go to the Farron Woods. But you just told me shut up. Go to the woods. So you cannot see it from where we are. A beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing this button. Hey. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. So now you must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. Way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Yes, yeah, swinging of her hair... Unlocks the door. Through the door before you and head into the woods, I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Lonk, go bravely. Lonk. Must slash pots. It is other destiny. All pots must die. Uh, I'm drinking that. I'm drinking my potion. Um. If you caught a fairy, this playful spite. Replenishes six of your hearts. If you put it in a bottle and keep it with you, it will come to your aid automatically if you run out of hearts. Yep, not, uh, 
Not taking any chances with that. Can you blame me, Orion? Eh. I just know that fairy is really not about this. Oh, another thing you can do is if your hearts are low, you can actually sit in a stool to regain your health. I didn't do it because I needed to use the potion. Anyway, so... Alright, what's in what's in the chest? A bottle full of revitalizing potion. Do I actually have two bottles now? I do! <laughs> nice. Oh, I gotta stand up again because we're going outside. So obviously that blue light is the beacon. Make sense? Good. It go up. It's important. Money. Yay, money. Sorry, I stole your line, Orion. Uh-huh. Two monies. I'm rich. Can I reach 200 before I have to fight these, these enemies? No. Maybe. No, I'll leave those goddess butterflies there. Oh, right, I can do that now. Gorko the Goron, researching ancient history. Uh, text, there's some kind of uh, place up above called the Isle of Goddess, so Skyloft. Uh, as landmarks, those traveling up to the sky are down from this Isle of Goddess. The statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Connoisseur of ancient cultures here. You better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. <laughs> uh, <it's> no kidding. <laughs> I mean, unless you count. I mean, aside from Groose, that is a true statement. Stop there. It's even... Alright, now he's going into the stuff of uh, stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, nah, I'm good. Link walks up to it, activates. Oh! <laughs> Does he not realize anything about this? Nope. The moment you got near it, how crazy is that? So, actually, I want to just check something. Let me guess. You can use the amiibo now? No! Nope. 
Interesting. Oh, can I get the rupees before I... Oh. No, you can't. No money for you. Uh, now you have access to the stone statue. You can return to the sky at will by using... Oh. <laughs> wow. Tell me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. Enable or disable user from the options. So is it enabled now automatically? Oh, no, it's not. Use. Cool. So, I guess I could show this off now then. What would I like to use? Amiibo, please. So, I just used the Zelda amiibo. That's so cheap. So, let's say I wanted to go and buy a new potion. Because I used up all the potions in the bottle. Now you can. Oh, it gets better. Oh, I have to actually get up higher. So I'm over Skyloft. Because for some reason, it's, it's a loading zone instead of... <laughs> Oh, and it just so happens to put me in front of the bazaar, which is fantastic. So. Say I wanted to, I don't know, store my thing. I gotta talk to her multiple times in this LP. So, I can store stuff. God damn it. Uh, let's store the revitalizing potion. I have no use for it right now. I have five slots of 12, which is 60 slots of four items. Don't they think that's a little much? Now we finish. Okay. So, now that I'm done at the bazaar and I want to go back down, I'm going to use the Zelda amiibo again. And no flying necessary. Oh, good. Who, need, who needs that when you can just teleport? I actually want to see what happens when you scan a non, like, like a, a Zelda amiibo that's not the Zelda one. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like if you use a, the, a Zelda amiibo that's not, like, even if it's a Zelda-based one, it does not recognize it. I want to try, I want to try the Wolf Link one first. You're just trying to see if there's literally any way around the system. No, I'm seeing I, if there I, were, I was trying to see if there were other functions, like the amiibos had other functionality other than the Zelda one. Nope, it looks to me like you basically... I, I almost feel like you were trying to see, please tell me I didn't waste like 40 bucks. No, I was just having fun. I knew it worked. I saw the footage already. No, I mean like if there were any others that worked and you didn't have to necessarily get this one. No, this one actually has on the on the back of the uh, the case. Like it literally says on the back of the case... Um, using the Zelda and Loftwing amiibo, you can go between the, the sky and the surface. Well, I know that. I mean, like... No, but what I'm saying is, if they... If they... Is it, if the back of the, the case... Like, the blurb text has a section where it says, Use this amiibo, and only this amiibo. Right? Like, I obviously didn't waste $40. Okay, so I'm also going to remove my beacon because I don't need it now. 
Alright, we can move on. Alright. Master, you have entered Farron Woods. So much for ignore her for the rest of the game. Yeah, she still pops up when it's important. Like... She's not... Okay, so instead of ignoring her, it's more of... She doesn't pop up every five minutes saying, Hey, you want to do this? You want to... Like... Your your batteries are low. Like, she doesn't... She doesn't... Um, it's Get on your last nerve. Yes. Yes, that. Alright, so, fair and woods. We actually are almost at a, a gazin type. Uh, we are almost at an hour, by the way. Ow. <clears throat> like you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. I'll think about it. Uh, I thought there'd be something in there. Money? Money! One more rupee and I've hit 200. There we go. 200. And judging by the fact it's glowing gold, I think you're out of room. No. 300's the max. Hmm. Easy firewood. <laughs> All right. Oh god, if that's what I think it is, leave it there. What do you think it is? A Deku scrub. Actually, no! What in the heck? Ryan, that was your first what just happened? That was your first instance of a Kikui. One of the races that is exclusive to Skyward Sword. Kind of like a predecessor to the um Oh, what are they called in Wind Waker? Fuck, I forget what they're called. The Koroks. Yeah. Boy. Run up the hill. Grab stamp fruit. So now we're in the main area of Baron Woods. You can get lost here. Trust me, I have. So I will point out that these, when they're glowing, they are glittery, glittery, glittery. Uh, okay. Cool. She has a new interruption system. When I do it myself. 
So I could use a bottle to collect the spores from this mushroom, but I don't need to right now. Die. Die, potato! Thunk. When does it eventually give up running? Man, I do a better job when I'm blocking with the shield than I do when I'm actually trying to hit it. Hi! <laughs> Play dead! Act like a bush! Okay, cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Somehow she evaded capture in fear she's in still in significant danger. Cool. Keekly, most likely, false positive, yeah. All right. Well, now that we've oh, very strange company. Uh. All right. Well, that will do it for this episode. We're gonna head back over here because there's a statue or pedestal over here. All right. So that will do it for today's episode on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay notified of any videos going up on the channel. You can also go to Orion's channel. Link will be down and below in the description. Uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell on his so that you stay notified of whenever his videos goes up. They go up daily. Uh, almost daily. It hasn't been daily for a while, Doc. Trying to keep track of all this stuff is not going so well right now. I'm doing my best. Well, that's why I say he tries his best. Um, if you want to stay notified of any changes to video uploads or streams, you can go to uh, my Twitter, twitter.com slash doc underscore writer underscore. And just a reminder that this video was recorded live on stream over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash doc underscore writer uh everything else is down below guys thank you so much for watching in the next episode we're going to continue progressing through the Farron woods uh and maybe we'll find zelda probably not but we'll progress further in this uh area uh with that in mind peace out have a wonderful day and as always bow ties are cool peace out every body